Hi guys, you're on a prize winning assignment experts lottery. Today you can win a car or a goat. So, here we have three doors and a much desired car is behind one of them. Behind two other doors there are goats. Now it's time to choose which door you'll go. Okay, I'll imagine you pick the first door. But wait a second and let me show you what is behind the third door. As you can see, here we have a goat. And now I ask you, would you like to change the door or to stick with their initial choice? While you're thinking, I'll give you some clues. Initially, the probability to win a car is one-third for each door. You pick a door and then I show you a goat behind one of two other doors. Most of the people now think that the probability to win a car is one half because we are left with two doors. But that's wrong. We need to consider the whole situation as a sequence of related events. So, initially each door has a one-third win probability. You pick the first door. Two other doors combined give us probability two-thirds. If we still have all three doors closed, the probability for one of these two will be two-thirds times one-half, because we take only half of two-thirds when you go one of the doors. So, two-thirds times one-half equals one-third. Then, I show you a goat over here. There is no way you can win a car when you go this door now. So the probability becomes two-thirds times zero equals zero. But the second door becomes two-thirds times one and equals two-thirds. At the same time, the first door, the one you picked initially, still has a one-third win probability. So it is obvious we are better to change the door. It's even more obvious when we have a thousand doors instead of three, and we still have just one car. In this case, probability to win with each door is 0 0.001. Again, you pick the first door. Therefore, all other doors combined give us probability 0 0.999. Then I open all the doors except the door you picked and another door. Let's say the second door. And we see that there are gods behind all these doors. So, gods. Lots of gods and the last code. In this case, you can't win car with all these doors with gods. Therefore, the probability for them is zero. But the second door gains all this probability, 0 0.999. At the same time, the first door has probability 0 0.001. So we can see that when we change a door, we have huge chances to win a car. The same logic is for three doors, but the probability is smaller. Okay, not convinced, let's look at the problem another way. As we know, we have a car, got one, and got two, behind three doors. You choose a door and then I show you where one of the gods is. Now let's consider all the possible cases. Suppose you initially pick the door with the car. Then I will show you either got one or got two. Let's say I show you got one. Then you will change the door and get got two. So here we lose. If we initially pick got one. Then I will show you where got 2 is. You will change the door and get a car, so it's a win.
And the same situation if you initially pick God 2. Then I will show you where God 1 is. You will change the door and get a car. So this is another win. Summing up, we win two times out of three when we change the door. That's because we win when we initially pick a god, and the probability of this event is two-thirds, and we lose only if we initially pick a car. The probability of this event is one-third. If you want more information about this topic, Google Monte Hall problem. Share your thoughts and comments. Stay tuned. See you.